Welcome back to Cart Performance. Got an exciting piece for you today, the Icon I-40. Just like the Evolution video, we're gonna give you the full rundown and overview of this cart. We're gonna look at what it comes with standard, we're gonna look at what motors are in it, the specs on it, the performance of it, everything you wanna know about this cart. True overall review, okay? Let's get right into it. This color we got is the Sangria Red. But you can see, and you can't really see it in here, but when we go outside today, you're gonna to see it's kind of like that red metallic, nice look to it. So overall, the body seems you know, pretty nice and sturdy. Doesn't seem flimsy or anything like that. It's got these nice headlights with these nice LED around that. I don't know if you can see that. He's got these standard brush guards right here. They're not cheap and flimsy brush guards. You know, you can really wrench on this thing. If you can see up in here, we'll, we're gonna also gonna put it up on the lift, but right here we can see that we got coil over shocks, front disc brakes. They come standard on a 23 inch overall tire, 12 inch wheel. And then we come into here, got four seat belts, our turn signal, horn, brights. Here's our charging port for the onboard charger, state of charge signal. Up here on the dash, we have the state of charge as well, 53%, 49 volts. You see this car has got 11 miles on it. it tells us how fast we're going, etc. Here is our forward reverse switch. Key, nice key. And our USB port. Everything's accessorized with the key, turns on and off, all key activated. These come equipped with lead acid batteries. In this model, we got the Trojan T875, good quality batteries. Here's our onboard charger. This cart itself, they do come stock with 350 amp Toyota controllers. This one, however, is the upgraded 440 as we have the five kilowatt motor in this cart. Stock motor is a four kilowatt. You can order it as an option. We opt to get the bigger motor right from the start. Back here, we have our four seater with the flip out storage. Nice solid grab bar here with their storage compartment underneath. We are equipped with a nice long roof with handles all over the place. Brad, you're a nice tall guy. Let's yeah, see what I'm it's like getting in this. Yep, I'm 6'2", six, six so. 6'2's, six how's the headroom when you're sitting in there? Honestly, it's good. I, uh, I feel comfortable. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's got good foot room and honestly, it's pretty, pretty solid. Yeah. Easy to get on and off. The tail lights have a nice cool design on them. They got these nice square like LEDs. And I believe these have backup uh, lights as well. No? Yeah? yeah? Uh, no, I don't know. No. No backup light? No backup light. Is that the brake light or is that the turn signal? Turn signal. Okay. So, that's the brake lights. And then hit the turn signal. Nice flashing LED turn signal. Nice daytime running lights. And we can turn them off and we can turn them on. And we look around here, like we looked at the evolution video, we seen that the body wasn't, remember it was all screwed up and all that, we pointed that out. They seem to do a nice job of tucking their body in and there's no paint chips. That's just some dirt on here. Everything overall looks really good. We were pretty pleased with the cart. We did have a defect on the, you can obviously see the two seat colors here are different and they have no problem replacing that and get us a replacement ASAP. So no hassle or anything as far as service goes. Icon seems to be doing really good. Sound a lot of carts, no real complaints about them. So we decided we want to get one and give a full over review. And you know, also too, um, we show things like this because we're not trying to hide anything. That's what we're doing. We just want to give you what you really want to hear and see. 
And I mean, that's why I'm showing this. But Icon, you know, again, they're right on it and they're gonna take care of it right away. But again, it's all about customer support. When you need things done, being able to rely on them and stand behind their warranties. And you know, that's really one of our biggest things is this, these companies actually standing up and standing behind these because they're not cheap. It's not a cheap, you know, investment. But for what you're getting, I think it's, it's worth it. Not trying to sell you the cart. We're trying to give the information. If you're looking to buy and purchase one of these carts, this is what you're getting. This is what you're paying for. And let's see if it's quality or not. Yeah, I think we should uh, put it up on the lift now and let's get underneath it and get a good look underneath and see how the structure of the frame and everything else is gonna be. Yes, and it's like the evolution stuff I wanted to key in before we go up on there. It's like how they protected the body with this. Yes, this is a lifted body and it does maybe seem like it moves a little bit, but it doesn't seem so cheap and flimsy. And remember how the evolution cracked right here? It seemed like they've done a good job of tightening everything up so you won't have those kind of damages. These are the things we're looking out for. So let's go up in the air with it and let's see what the underneath looks like. My first time looking at this thing with you guys. I've never really seen an icon up close or up in the air, so let's all take a look at it. My first thing I notice is that the frame itself, the actual chassis is kind of resemblance of a Yamaha. Um, club car is a little bit different. They have a full frame. Easy goes the same way. So these two uh, chassis, they actually, I don't mind them at all. I've seen some really old Yamahas and they've come back like looking pretty good. There might be some rust spots that could develop way down the line, but I don't think that this is a deal breaker. I actually kind of like to see this chassis. And the reason I like to see this chassis better as of all the carts that we ride and everything like that, Yamaha always seems to have the best ride. And this resembles a lot of a Yamaha to me. This, this same here is like a Yamaha setup with the front coils. So the coils are probably gonna give a right, like a really good ride. And the bonus feature of this is the front disc brakes. So, you know, Brad, you love your front disc brakes. Yeah, I mean, you definitely gotta be able to stop. You know, you go fast, need us to stop and you know a lot of people don't understand they never experienced the the brake life until you you know because a lot of carts don't come with hydraulic brakes i mean it's just it's not something they've ever put on but once you get you try hydraulic brakes the first time you have them you'll never go without them you can stop on a dime and give nine cents back for these things and we're going to show it in snow on dry you'll see all that later on nice structure as far as the channeling goes like the frame doesn't this this portion of the frame doesn't seem weak you know, I kind of like their design how they came down and boxed this out and ran this down to this arm. It seems solid, like a, yeah. it's not an actual like lift kit design. Right. Um, this is the actual part of their frame design, which is nice. And then they got the steering box, nice and protected up in here as well. All this looks good. I see they ran the brake lines are nice and tight up here. All the wiring is nice and tied up and doesn't look like you're gonna, if you go off-roading with this thing, I wouldn't be concerned about ripping anything down. They've tucked it up the best they could. The brake lines are up tight above the frame. Let's go back down here to the motor. Here's the AC five kilowatt motor. Looks good. They do use the RXV style brake on the side of the motor. So there is no cable brake on this. It's electronic parking brake, but we have the full disc brakes because there's disc brakes back here as well. Coming to the back end here, we can see yeah. it's the same similar Yamaha setup with the stabilizer bar and this independent like kind of frame itself right here. Like the cart actually is on a frame and then your drivetrain is on this separate frame, which probably gives the best overall ride because this thing can move around the frame going back and forth. Coilovers on the back disc brakes on the back. Now we'll get right to like the seat kit here. Like we got nice brackets on the C channel frame. I mean, there's not a lot of things wrong with it. I can't pick out, like pick it apart like the Evolution. And the Evolution made a good car. I just, you know, I'm back on the whole service thing with them. I'm not, I wouldn't be pleased with their service. And you can go on forums and look, like, do your own research. Some places have good results with them, some places have bad. I haven't seen much of anything on Icon, good or bad. 
but my first overall look of the thing, I'm, I would be pretty pleased with what you get for this cart. Yeah, no, I, I definitely agree. I mean, I, I see a few, uh, you know, de defects and things that could be updated and made a bit better, but you know, they're minor overall. They're, they're very minor. Yeah, I agree. Very minor, very minor things overall. So, with the look of that and everything, we're down to just let's get it outside. Let's go actually see what this thing does. You know, I was thinking about something. I'm like, in my mind, I'm driving it today. I was really just thinking, this would be a good to play with with the RX V. I think the way driving them both in comparison, I think it's always good to have a second card out there. You know, I want you guys to kind of understand comparisons. And the RX V is an AC motor. It's a four kilowatt, but it's also got brand new batteries in it. And I think uh, I think we should put some, something out there to kind of show. I mean, again, this is we're focusing on this, but I also want to be able to put other things up to it so you can actually see. You know how I think it's, it's doing. a good comparison, though. It's a good it's, comparison. It, we're talking.